In this video, you will learn how to sample the univariate normal distribution. So in other words, how to create scalar valued sampled such that a histogram will follow the bell shape of a normal distribution. Hi and welcome to this new video. We will first start by sampling the standard normal distribution and then we will transform the samples into any arbitrary normal distribution. After each of the two sections, we will have a short coding example in Python. So let's start with first sampling the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is given with zero mean and one standard deviation. And the way to do this is called the box Muller transform. For this, we need two uniformly distributed samples. I will call this U1 and U2, and they are distributed according to a uniform distribution over 0 and 1. So they are randomly chosen with equal probability in the range from 0 to 1. You can also think of it as some source of randomness. With these two uniform samples, we then can create two normal samples. And the first one is given as x1, which will be the square root of minus two times the logarithm of u1 times the cosine of two pi u2. And for x2, we will take the same square root of minus two logarithm u1, but then we multiply it with the sine of two pi u2. And you see the only difference between the two is the cosine and the sine. And if we then have these two samples, we know that these are distributed according to the standard normal with zero mean and one standard deviation. You can also think of it in the following way. You take two uniform samples and get this into this box Muller algorithm and then you output two normal samples. Next up, let's implement the box Muller transform in Python. For this, I imported the NumPy package as well as matplotlib so that we can visualize an histogram. Let us first start by drawing uniformly distributed samples. I will call them U, and for this, we will use 1000 uniformly distributed samples. And with the rand command, we already get samples that are in the range from zero to one. So let us return 1000 samples and these are the uniformly distributed samples. We can look at them in a histogram, and well, we see it is almost uniformly distributed in the range from zero to one. Then now let's split the 1000 element long vector into two vectors that are 500 elements each. I will call this U1, which will be all the elements up to 500, and U2, which will be all the elements from 500 and upwards. Then we can use the box Miller transform accordingly and create an x1, which will be np dot square root of minus two times np dot logarithm of u1. And we multiply this with the cosine of two times np dot pi times u2. And we get our x2 accordingly by changing here to the sine instead of the cosine and also rename it x2. Then we can merge these two vectors back together and get an x by concatenating them. And I will concatenate x1 and x2 alongside the zero of x's. And then we get this here. And you already see there are also some negative values. With a clear figure, we can then create a new histogram and apply this here. And I will also use 100 bins. And there we see well, this is approximately a normal distribution. So it is centered at zero and it's probably hard to see, but trust me, the variance or standard deviation is almost one. We can also check this with the numpy.variance command on the X. And here we see it is almost one. Then we are left with the question on how to sample from arbitrary normal distribution. I will call this the second point, sample the general normal distribution which is given by a mu and a variance sigma squared. Also take care, 
earlier. I also called this just a standard deviation. It is fairly common to define a normal by the variance. However, since the variance is just a standard deviation squared, they can be used interchangeably. And in order to perform step number two, we need step number one. So we need samples from the standard normal distribution. So let's say we have a sample X that is distributed according to a normal with zero mean and one standard deviation. So here in this case, it does not matter whether it's one standard deviation or one variance, since squaring this will still be one. And then we can get a Y, which is given as a mu plus sigma times x. And this y will then be distributed according to a normal distribution on mu and sigma squared. And here the really important point is that for this you have to use the standard deviation. So this is the standard deviation and not the variance. Then let's take our vector x of samples that are distributed according to the standard normal and transform it into y. And for this, I want to center this distribution around 3. And I wanted to have a standard deviation of 2, which consequentially means a variance of 4. So I will multiply x by 2 and then add the 3. Then let's look at the histogram of y. So we use plt.hist on y and also use 100 bins here. Then we see two things. We are centered at 3 which is just due to the fact that we shifted our normal distribution here. And it also seems to be a little wider in order to have our wider standard deviation. Let's check on this. So numpy.variance on y. And here we see it's approximately 4. And recall that makes sense because we use the standard deviation of 2. Together with step 1, which is the box Miller transform, and step 2, which is some sort of an affine transformation, you can create samples from arbitrary univariate normal distributions. If you have any questions left, then please write a comment. I would be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, then please also consider liking and subscribing. Here you will now see similar videos. And with this, I hope to see you next time.